Vindobona from Gaulish window, white, and bona, base, bottom, was a Roman military camp on the site of the modern city of Vienna in Austria. The settlement area took on a new name in the 13th century, being changed to Berghof, or now simply known as Alter Berghof, the Old Berghof. Around 15 BC, the Kingdom of Noricum was included in the Roman Empire. Henceforth, the Danube marked the border of the empire, and the Romans built fortifications and settlements on the banks of the Danube, including Vindobona with an estimated population of 15,000 to 20,000. History Early references to Vindobona are made by the geographer Ptolemy in his Geographica and the historian Aurelius Victor, who recounts that Emperor Marcus Aurelius died in Vindobona on 17 March 180 from an unknown illness while on a military campaign against invading Germanic tribes. Today, there is a Mark Oral Strasse English, Marcus Aurelius Street near the Hoher Markt in Vienna. Vindobona was part of the Roman province Pannonia, of which the regional administrative center was Carnuntum. Vindobona was a military camp with an attached civilian city Canabay. The military complex covered an area of some 20 hectares, housing about 6,000 men where Vienna's first district now stands. The Danube marked the border of the Roman Empire, and Vindobona was part of a defensive network including the camps of Carnuntum, Brigadio and Aquincum. Under Emperor Trajan, four legions were stationed in Pannonia. Vindobona was provisioned by the surrounding Roman country estates Vili Rustici. A center of trade with a developed infrastructure as well as agriculture and forestry developed around Vindobona. Civic communities developed outside the fortifications Legionis, as well another community that was independent of the military authorities in today's 3rd district. It has also been proven that a Germanic settlement with a large marketplace existed on the far side of the Danube from the second century onwards. The asymmetrical layout of the military camp, which was unusual for the otherwise standardized Roman encampments, is still recognizable in Vienna's street plan: Graben, Nagelergasse, Tiefer Graben, Salzgras, Rabenstieg, Rotentormstrasse. The oblique camp border along today's street Salzgras was probably caused by a tremendous flood of the river Danube that occurred during the 3rd century and eroded a considerable part of the camp. The name Graben English, ditch, is believed to hark back to the defensive ditches of the military camp. It is thought that at least parts of the walls still stood in the Middle Ages, when these streets were laid out, and thus determined their routes. The Berghof was later erected in one corner of the camp. Wars, administrative and military reforms in the 3rd and 4th century as well as devastating floods led the population to retreat more and more into the military camp. The area lost its importance as a border in the 5th century, and the local population lived within the former fortification. <inaudible> <inaudible> Evidence for the Roman presence in Vindobona Archaeological <inaudible> <inaudible> remains <inaudible> Remains of the Roman military camp have been found at many sites in the center of Vienna. The center of the Michaelerplatz has been widely investigated by archaeologists. Here, traces of a Roman legionary outpost and of a crossroad have been found. The centerpiece of the current design of the square is a rectangular opening that evokes the archaeological excavations at the site and shows wall remains that have been preserved from different epochs. Part of a Roman canal system is underneath the fire station Am Hof. Directly under the Hoher Markt are the remains of two buildings unearthed during the canalization works of 1948–49 and made accessible to the public. After further excavation, a showroom was opened in 1961. For this purpose some of the original walls had to be removed. White marks on the floor show the spots where the buildings, which are separated from one another by a road, housed an officer and his family. In 2008 this Roman ruins exhibit was expanded into the Museum of the Romans. Only a small portion can today be seen, for the majority of the remains are still located underneath the square and south of it. The remains of the walls date from different phases from the 1st to the 5th century AD. The houses were typical Roman villas, with living quarters and space for working set around a middle courtyard with columned halls. Topic. Evidence for the Roman military presence Over 3,000 stamped bricks, several stone monuments and written sources prove that several legions, cavalry units and marines were stationed in Vindobona. 
Around 97 AD, Legio XIII Gemina was responsible for construction of the legionary camps. Because of the wars in Dacia, they were pulled out and redeployed in 101 AD. A decade later, Legio XIV Gemina Martia Victrix followed. Legio X Gemina from Aquincum arrived in 114 AD and remained in Vindobona until the 5th century. About 6,000 soldiers were stationed in the Roman camp. Many of them were free from active duty during peaceful times and had other jobs. These so called immunes were needed for the supply of goods and for the production and maintenance of weapons and commodities. They also extracted stone from quarries and wood from forests, produced bricks, and maintained the streets, bridges, and the water system. Administrating the camp and ensuring its security required additional manpower. Roman canals The Romans provided their cities, including Vindobona, with clean potable water through an elaborate systems of Roman aqueducts, canals, and large subterranean pipes. Excavations have revealed that Vindobona received its supply through a 17 km long water pipeline. The source is in the Vienna woods around today's Kalksburg. Wells, latrines and the thermi were supplied with water. Central buildings such as the commander's office and the hospital had their own supplies, as did the settlement outside the camp, where households had their own groundwater wells. Archaeological excavations done over the last 100 years have discovered the following Roman water supply fragment locations. In the Zemlinskigas, at numbers 2-4, 23rd district, found in 1924. In the Breitenfurter Strasse, at number 422, 23rd district, in 1959. In the Rudolf Zeller Gas, Anton Krieger Gas, 23rd district, 1992. In Atzgersdorf, 23rd district, 1902 to 1907. In the Tulnertal Gas, at number 76, 23rd district, 1973. In the Laner Gas, at number 1, 23rd district, 1958. In the One Gas, 12th district, 1951. In the Rosenhügelstrasse, at number 88, 12th district, 1926. In the Fasongartenstrasse, at number 49, 12th district, 1916. In the Pekassi-Strasse, 13th district, 1928. In the Sexhauserstrasse, at number 7, 15th district, 1879, leading towards the first district, waste from the Roman camp was transported through an elaborate subterranean sewerage system that was planned from the beginning. The sewers were lined with brick walls and plates and ran beneath the main roads. Gradients were used in such a way that the waste water descended through the canals into the river Danube. Since the canals were up to 2 meters deep, they could be cleaned out regularly. Large waste was probably deposed at the slope of the river. In the civilian settlement, waste was deposed in former water wells and dumps. Topic. Legacies in today's streets The layout of a Roman camp castra was normally standardized. This has helped archaeologists to reconstruct what the camp must have looked like, despite the heavy rebuilding that has taken place in Vienna throughout the centuries. The basic contours of the camp, which was surrounded by a mighty wall with towers and three moats today the Tiefer Graben, Nagelergas, Graben, and Rotentormstrasse are identifiable. Along these axes, main roads connected the gates with one other. The main buildings were the commander's headquarters, the palace of the legate, the houses of the staff officers, and the thermi. At right angles to these, the soldiers' accommodation, a hospital, workshops, and mews stables were constructed. Topic. Popular culture In the American film Gladiator 2000, Maximus Russell Crow fights in the Battle of Vindobona under the order of Marcus Aurelius Richard Harris. There are also two lines that make reference to Vindobona. In one, the lead character's servant, Cicero, trying to get the attention of Lucilla, states, I served with your father at Vindobona. In the other, the lead character asks if anyone in his group of gladiators has served in the army, to which an anonymous fighter responds, I served with you at Vindobona. The historical novel Voten by Welsh writer John James begins in Vindobonum and imagines 2nd century CE life there. <laughs> See also List of aqueducts in the Roman Empire Topic. 
References Topic. Further reading Michaela Kronberger, Siedlungskronologische Forschungen zu den Cannabalegionis von Vindobona. Die Graberfelder Monographien der Stadtarchäologie Wien Band 1. Phoebus Verlag, Wien 2005. In German Christine Ransader E. A., Michaelerplatz. Die Archaeologischen Ausgrabungen. Wien Archaeologisch 1, Wien 2006. ISBN 3-901232-72-9, in German Vindobona. Die Reise in das Antique Wien. DVD-ROM, 2004. In German Vindobona 2. Wassertechnik des Antiken Wiens. DVD-ROM, 2005. In German Topic. External links Media related to Vindobona at Wikimedia Commons Wien Museum, Ausgrabungsstätten in German Forschungsgesellschaft Wiener Stadtarchäologie, Legionslager Vindobona in German Animationsfilm zu Vindobona in German Sate MIT Sehenserter Reconstruction des Lagertors in German Livius.org, Vindobona Vienna Austrian mint coin features Vindobona Bursch, A., L. Pitts, P. Kachanowski, E. Krekovich, R. Matita Legutko, R. Talbert, T. Elliott, S. Gillies. Places, 128,537 Vindobona. Pleiades. Retrieved March 8, 2012. CS1 maint, multiple names, authors list link.